This will probably be a very short video unless something goes wrong. There's been a lot of uh, requests and comments in my programming videos about how to compile my tutorial code on other systems besides Mac OS. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through how to do that on a Linux system today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Contro file from the uh, gun shooting tutorial and I'm going to make an attempt to on the fly uh, bring this over to my Linux machine and compile it on there. Um, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is um, just create a tar archive of the Contro uh, uh, folder, which I believe I've done. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that over to my Linux machine via uh, SCP, which is on my LAN. Um, it's actually not a Linux machine per se, it's a Raspberry Pi, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's Linux all the same, so hopefully this will just kind of work. So on your Linux machine, there's a couple things you're going to want to have set up or installed in advance. Um, the first one is the compiler in general, which uh, could be GCC or on more modern systems it might be Clang. And this one is GCC. And um, you're going to want to have SDL2 installed. You're going to want to have SDL image installed, SDL2 mixer. Um, you're going to want to have those three things available to you. The way that uh, you can do that depends on the system. For Raspberry Pi, I had to jump through quite a few hoops to do it, but usually it's so, as simple as doing something like apt-get, install, libsdl2, and then libsdl2dev. Um, those are usually enough for you to have SDL installed in your Linux machine, which I've done in advance of this video, though I don't really know if it's going to work until right now. All right, so you have your source code available in your Linux machine from scratch, what you'll first do is you will do gcc dash c, the source file, standard equals c99, that's important for uh, older compilers, backtick sdl config double hyphen c flags for each c file in the project. Then you will do gcc dash o, the name of the executable, the object files listed one for every, every file that's been compiled, Backtick STL config double hyphen libs and then L STL image. And if you're using sound, it doesn't hurt to do this even though I don't need it. STL mixer as well. You, uh, there's an STL TTF that I use in the Man Man project as well, and that, uh, that was used for the font loading. So you will add the STL2 TTF uh, to the end of that as well. So I have my Raspberry Pi here hooked up to my TV via HDMI and I got the terminal ready to go and I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like when I run the executable. So there's the game, C code running on the Raspberry Pi compiled for Linux. So there it is, Raspberry Pi running the same code. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys.